different men. I do, and what? And what? I'm five, six, so they could be five, five. Most five, four. Oh my God. I don't really like dating short men because I am, I do feel like really tall, but like. It don't matter. Hmm, they not all short. <laughs> Do you date short men? My short kings. My short kings, we are we are finally being appreciated. You hear what she said? We ain't all short. We ain't all pause. <laughs> pause. Pause. I got too excited just now. This is probably the first video I've seen in a long time of a, a young lady actually appreciating us short kings. Let's go ahead and send some positivity her way. I hear a New York accent too. Where is she from? Damaged. My car is damaged. Is where? Is right here. If you want to see, you oh, can come over. Oh, shit. Why are you hitting my car, lady? Why is she pounding the... Damaged. Oh, she fixed that. Would you tell her to get away from me? She's crazy. You know, just look, you know, look with the, you know. That. It's not damaged. I mean, usually what you're supposed to do you don't, you don't in an accident... Your car not damaged. ...change information. Bitch. Oh lord. With the walk off? You are a crazy bitch. Is she I don't know why. And she peeled off. <laughs> yeah. I got it. Man. She just drove away. She Calling her the B word with the walk off was epic. But she fixed the car. Am I tripping? She fixed the car. The bumper clip was off and she knocked it back in place. There is no need to get the officers involved. At this point, I'm not gonna lie, shorty behind the camera might might be the Karen. Yeah, I'm St. Lucie County Sheriff Keith Pearson. Franklin Sanders and his juvenile companion thought they were gonna come through St. Lucie County with the stolen vehicle. Why he got him on the floor like that? Ain't happening. Although this is an M5 and it's super fast, we got the scat pack out. Hey, what'd you think? Good? Yeah, no comment. That ain't no M5, car my boy. Hit speeds of 160 miles an hour. The scat pack took him down. We want to say shout out to the Broward County Sheriff's Office, Osceola County Sheriff's Office, Indian River County Sheriff's Office for making sure we put this bad guy behind bars where he belongs. You know what I'm saying? Hey, first off, having this man just sitting on the floor while you shoot a commercial, that's diabolical behavior, officer. But secondly, that ain't no M5. I... That might be a three series, but I don't, I don't look like no M5. Maybe I'm tripping. So, do you think the strip clubs are dying? Goddamn. Damn, I kind of. Maybe. Oh, shit. I, I think because of girls like me who made it or, girl, you know, the switch up. For sure, the, I like the, um, hold on, y'all got some lip hair or something, girl. A lot of the, what you do as far as spending money on girls, you can do virtually with the whole subscriptions buying content and all that but i don't think a man can ever get over physically seeing and touching a woman Go so get a girlfriend. i don't think it would just die per se but it has a different twist to it it's but i you know i tapped in for a little bit so i from what i seen coming back and what i left and what made me be i mean i got booked to be who i am so i don't, I don't know i think it's, I think it's switching up for sure, but I don't know about dying. So do you think the strip clubs are dying? First off, <laughs> y'all already know I only go to the strip club for the wings and the food. Some of y'all have been judging me when I say that, but that's the only reason I go to the strip club. I'm not going to give you no money so you can tease me. That's one. I'm not even going to talk about OF, bro. Because the last video I did where I was talking about OF, them folks like demonetized my video and age restricted it and all, so we ain't even gonna do that no more. Another thing, man, like I just, maybe this is simp behavior, but I just don't understand how women that can be so beautiful can subject themselves to this type of degrading behavior for money. What? I need my card. He definitely need know his friends just found out and he moved accordingly. How you ain't know your girlfriend was transgender?
We looking at the same thing, right? Cause I can tell. I know you can tell. I can tell. How he can't tell? What? How he couldn't tell? I ain't gonna act like we ain't come across videos of certain people that we probably couldn't tell. That look like Joanna, man. Ain't no way in hell. <laughs> I'm sorry. That came out of nowhere. Ain't no way in hell he couldn't tell, bro. Believe it or not. There used to be a point in time where I could have a roster. Yeah, a little, little starting five. I could do it. I could juggle it. I was having a good time. I felt fulfilled enough. It was cool. You know the old saying, what you can't get from one man, you can definitely get from five. I'm having a good time, like, dating and meeting new people and all of that, but I would like to get married at some point. If your husband is a good guy, but you're ready for divorce, you're not a bad person. How? So don't let guilt get the best of you. You're not doing him any favors by staying. Your relationship doesn't have to be toxic to validate your feelings of wanting to leave. But if he's a good guy, he deserves to be happy. That means he deserves to be with somebody who values him and wants him just the way he is. If that's not you, you gotta let him go. He may not see it like this right now, but you're doing both of you a favor. There's no point in trying to change them anymore. They have to destroy themselves. You cannot tell them not to destroy themselves. It is mass delusion. And they think if they shout you down, call you names, make fun of you, do all of these things, that somehow it's going to change their outcome. The only thing that's going to change are men. And there is no use in trying to save these women. There's no use in trying to compromise. There's no use in trying to, to work with any woman over here because they are gone. They are lost. We are going to have to let them run out, run their course, and let the younger generation see the destruction when they become the old, bitter, nasty, destructive people that they are. I encourage men to go their own way. Don't even, don't approach. Don't coddle. Don't, don't uh, get princess treatment. Don't listen to nothing. They deserve nothing. The only thing that's going to work is, is the absolute coldness of men. Believe it or not. Um, well, the first two videos, that we all know that when certain women are single, they become glizzy goblins, okay? Glizzy goblins. She has five dudes. She's playing with all of them. And it's probably one or two of them that's actually getting the cheeks. The other ones are just there for certain necessities. I put my boy on a date no, with his no, ex no. that broke his heart. Why? No, 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 she... no but why, bro? No, bro, no, why? Of all men, of, 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 of all men, of all girls, bro, why this one? Bro, no. You know the severity of what happened in, in in this, what we went on between us, bro. You know that. Like, that's to the point I should I genuinely actually de-link, bro. Like, this is a piss tape. Let's go apologize. Apologize. It's yeah. far from that. I don't want none of that, man. <sighs> See what I mean, bro? What bro, I'll tell you off camera, I'm about to draw this girl out, man. Bro, I promise you now, it's a drawer out. It's an actual drawer out. The fact that I'm in this seat right now is a draw out, bro. What's a draw out? What do you mean? Yes, bro. My brothers and sisters from uh, Great Britain. What's a draw out? I don't understand the slang, but whatever she did, he is pissed. Bro, I... Ugh. Nah, man. I'm not laughing. She's smiling. I'm the one that wanted to be here. Mm. I don't. Back. I'm really sorry. And that's why I wanted you to come here today. Yeah. That's the most shit you swear I've ever heard. I would not have that. <laughs> Yo, yeah, he, he's an instigator. You, know what, you should have sorted yourself out then, innit? Oh. Goodness me, you're not that. Yeah, you're not that. What? You're in the position to kiss your teeth. You should kiss the floor. Ooh. About kissing your teeth in front of me like I'm in some sort of wrong. Allow it. I put my boy on a date with his... I ain't gonna lie, bro. Certain pranks should be off limits, dog. If you know the severity of how much this woman might have broke this man's heart, you shouldn't even do that. I could only imagine, because they young, bro. Anywhere from 18 to about 23, that's when y'all young ladies be on demon time. As dudes, we only love one time. We only truly love somebody one time. And a lot of times... 
this happens early in our lives. So it could be junior high school, high school, college. You might be with a young lady and you just falling for her and you just you still young and you believe in fairy tales and all that. And then she go out there and she wanna experience other people and she might break your heart. That one heartbreak could turn you into Captain Red Pill. And I wanna say, I feel as though a lot of the Red Pill dudes still have not recovered from that one heartbreak. I'm not going to lie, bro. I don't got nothing to say. I don't got nothing to say. Shower. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing you wash? Okay, I, I definitely go hair first. Hair first? Hair first. Do you wash your hair every time? Well, I only take like one shower every six days, so. So you start with hair. Wait, start what? Wait, 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 what? Uh. <sighs> Ain't no way. Ain't. No way she on these people internet talking about she take a shower every six days? Every six days? Bro, what? My God, bro, her coochie. Mm. <sighs> Yo, her poom poom probably. Mm, mm, mm. Her poom poom probably smell like straight dumpster. Uh, then I don't normally do conditioner and then face wash. <laughs> then I get out. <laughs> there you go. Wait, what? <laughs> This is not funny. This is not funny. <laughs> I love how long you just over I this have no shame. It's not my past. It's my present. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed. I do not wash my body. <laughs> At all. Yeah. It's no. a waste of time. The soap, like, runs down you. Sure. Because like, on you know how the soap's, like... Yo, absolutely. I'm on the same page. Like, I'm, not, I'm not on that no, train. No, I'm, I'm not on fully board. <laughs> but, but, like, but, like, I have a ticket. But I just don't know if I'm hopping on. Shower. Mm -hmm. I don't think y'all understand what she just said. This woman says she only take a shower once every six days. And during those once every six days, she don't even wash her body. She wash her hair, and then she let the soap drip down. She ain't even scrubbing the dead skin off her body, y'all. Let alone scrubbing the, the, the dust and debris that blow on our skin when we walk outside. I'm saying it right now. Her she probably look like Hiroshima. Hup, hup, mm. Oh my god. Ain't no way, dog. Bro. Your battery's critically low. You need to charge for two hours. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what if I let it die? What was that? What if it what if it what if it dies? What if it dies? Yeah. That's a violation. Damn. Yeah, so you need a charger. I'll let the officer know. Alright, K. 
That's why I ain't gangster now. This is modern day slavery. I be hooping with a few kids that be having ankle monitors. 15, 16 years old. Hey man, this what this what y'all, you know what I'm saying? This real situations, right? You wanna be a real so there you go. I tell my husband all the time that if a man approaches me while I'm out by myself and asks me for my phone number, I'm gonna give him my phone number. And I'm gonna give him my phone number not because I want him, but because I wanna make it back home to my husband and my children safely. Some men cannot take rejection. I tell my husband all the time that if a Yo, I was looking in the comment section of this video and some of y'all dudes are so stupid. You know how many men were coming at her like, oh, what does that mean? That's stupid. Bro, is even y'all just can't wait to have opportunities to put women down? Or oh, y'all are just really stupid for real. But if you look on the news, it's women out here that has lost their lives because some idiot can't understand the word no. Some idiot can't understand I'm married, I have a boyfriend. My boyfriend wouldn't appreciate that. So like, for the fact, who oh, you representing? Get your merch. That's funny. You know what I'm saying? On a rainy day in Atlanta? What's up? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get your yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, ooh, okay. Cause I, man, I feel like the camera not added 10 pounds, man. Actually, dudes and weight, bro. I look a little bloated. But I promise you, in real life, it look real good on me, okay? Okay. When you gonna make mine? Oh, that's nice. Make sure you know what? I got a business too. I got you. That tastes good. You want some? Yeah, yes, please. That tastes good. What is that? That's that's. Chickpeas and quinoa, and I put a little bit of the orange sauce on there. The orange chicken sauce. Yeah, that tastes good. Thank you. You're yeah. So, like I was saying, dog, you have to understand that. It might sound so disrespectful that, it might sound disrespectful to think that your woman is giving her number out to some dude that randomly came up to her. But at the same time, bro, it's a messed up world we living in. I've told a story before about the, the girl that came from college. She went to the Labor Day celebration and she was dancing. This guy came out there, tried to get her number. She said, no, she's not interested. And he shot her in the head. I got another one for you. This actually happened at, in Atlanta. This guy and his girlfriend were on a date and they were riding those scooters. Y'all know those electric scooters that you can rent? They're riding electric scooters. A guy driving by tried to talk to her while she was with her man. And he and she was like, yo, I'm not interested. And he shot her. He shot her. 